They told me I've been ill these months. I haven't found out yet. <laughs> I've just had a good time. You know. But um, uh, this is a put-up job because uh, um, I'm only supposed to come here as a kind of extra color, extra number. Um, I belong to where Paul belonged, we went to Philemon. I, Paul the Ages. <laughs> there may be one or two of you nearly, nearly married here, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and, um, uh, and the first, the first session always awkward. It's also getting to know each other and um, what to say, what not to say. Then the ball begins to get rolling after that. Um, I've been able to spend my about three months up in my room with the, uh, at least I've had my typewriter, which is just a bad little bad little writing, but at least it does type. Um, but, uh, I'm really ready to dig into a few things, uh, which I've kind of run away from for a long time. So I don't have to get around all I can. Uh, so I'll be doing some of that. Uh, I had a, a good go on Roman 68. I've a long time wanted to really uh, get Paul to say what we say. <laughs> People might listen then. <laughs> so I've been getting Paul to do it. <laughs> and uh, that's in, in uh, Fred's hands now and we'll get, and, uh, get it out and I hope to get it to all my fellow in the mission I belong to, fellow workers, about a thousand of them, get it down to them. And other things, um, uh, the whole point of the Bible to me is to see the Holy Spirit get you through the people, uh, using the Bible for me to get the people to be people. So to get people to be people. And the Holy Spirit's done it through the ages, in the, through the written word. So I find, I found great profit great many years in seeing the Holy Spirit getting, getting into, into men and expressing itself by men through the ages, right up from Genesis upwards. And um, I've done those good deal of those in due course, and Julie has some of them already, but uh, I was able to revise them a good deal. So I spent quite a long time on uh, Job, and Joseph, and Jacob. Jacob's always my favorite because everybody maligns him. The only person likes Jacob is God and me. <laughs> we enjoy Jacob very much. And uh, I like to see uh, uh, God using the people he shouldn't use. It's great fun. Um, and others, Moses, Raja, Raja. I've had great depth and great benefit to those. And um, now in San Beck and up in uh, Louisville, they can't be retyping them and they come through in due course. I've done Hebrews too, you did Hebrews here. I had a good time on Hebrews. Pretty rich Hebrews, isn't it? <laughs> so I had a great time on Hebrews. And, um, it costs something, because you, you can't likely write, you know. You, uh, you can say, and people forget what you say. When you write, you're caught. I learned that was one of the first books I ever wrote, Touching the Visibles, I wrote 50 years ago. So I found some things I said there, uh, uh, they need a little more cat saying in writing. So I learned my lesson there. So it's a, it's a different thing to write than to talk. Because uh, like, like, Congress, like Congress, you can always forget what you talk. You can't, you can't forget what you write. <laughs> yeah. And so it's a, a, a good, tough job to write. And be sure what you say as far as you see is God's sake.
So I've done some of that. And then I want to go and do some more. So there we are. Um, the point is what what's best to talk about on our first session. Uh, uh, I've never uh, had my prepared sermons. I can't give you five points. You can read it that way. <laughs> um, I really give what we've got, that's all. Uh, so I'm only saying what the, uh, we, we'll be putting different forms, of course, through the weekend. And, uh, uh, What should we say is, uh, why we say something unique? What is the uniqueness? And uh, why are we in a position that uh, uh, it's very, it's very, I hesitate, it's very rare, it's very rare. Well, it's very rare. Um, so it's a big thing to say you need. Uh, so if I'm saying what I'm saying it now, I hope it's what the scripture says. Um, and then it is the same kind of thing as how you're going to come and say on these other sessions. Um, uh, you're in for conversation. <laughs> the joke is. Already most of us are, 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 are co-confronted. We've already with the old bunch together. So I'm only reminding you that as uh, the old bunches, what, what the old bunch says. Only a few of you here, I think, that are those who have not been before. But it is unique. See, why, why the Jews fight Jesus? It isn't because he's just Jesus. It's because he, he shakes the whole, the whole, their whole basis of life up. No, Judaism goes down the drain. Judaism went on the cross. And so it shakes a very beating. So a Jew doesn't just refuse Jesus just because Jesus was or wasn't in history. It's because if you believe him, you're, you're in a trouble as a Jew. You're in the explosion. And that's Muslims, that's why Muslims can't take Jesus to the Muhammad. Because they didn't just take a historic Jesus as a sort of say they, they explain the believe in the historic Jesus. But he blows up the whole Muhammad. Because then if you blow it up, if you go to Jesus, you take Jesus <laughs> and uh, his, what, his way of being is, that's all. So that's explosion. And we are in that same explosion in such a part today. I, I have no evidence I, I can give. There's any sign of the Church of Christ on any level, take it as a, as, as for members of the church of Christ, as, as, as groups of the church of Christ, I don't know. When the final issues come down, whether well, one might take it, you expose everything. You expose your relationships, you expose your, your, your cooperation, everything. So it's a very rare thing. Uh, for a, uh, for a group or a person who represents a group to, to this to be the, to them what it is to us. Now, uh, why is it unique? Uh, because the purpose of God's return is to have completed cells. That's a big thing to say. Completed cells. Even Jesus had to learn obedience through his help of Jesus. Being made perfect, that Jesus himself had been made perfect. That's strong stuff. To make other people perfect. 
that he was the, he was the stand up man, wasn't he? So we, see, we have to find a relation to the, uh, a perfect deity, <laughs> who the only person there is, the perfect, the perfect person, the perfect person, because we express the perfect person. And the perfection is the problem. So to be a perfect person, because you're expression of the perfect person. And you can't express it yourself, you can't express the perfect person, unless you know why it is to be, to be an expression of the perfect person. So you've got to be perfectly expressive. That's the difficulty. That's the difficulty. So of course we start with some, te some things we all know. Well, there is only one person. I say that kind of thing, you know that. In the beginning, he, he, he. In the end, he all in all, that's all this, you know that. But I, I think there's no other. So the universe is he in Paul's expression, that's obvious. What's a tree? It's a life in a seed. As a life in a seed, you just take the form of a tree. That's life, of course, it's a deity life in a seed. You know that. So you see, uh, there is only one person. He actually creates person to be a person, without the origin of something. The battle rages, has rather another reality, that consciousness is only the opposite. There's nothing in, there will be no separate options, like there will be known by dark, sweet by bitter and so on. I mean, if you take a light, no, unless it has the opposite, and the two together make uh, and, and, and uh, light, you, you, you mm -hmm. utilize it as uh, darkness to express its lightness. And heat, you just cold to express its heatness. You know what I'm The whole universe, of course, that's what the modern day physicists know. Physicists, the problem of the, of the duality of the atom. Why is it a particle? Why is it a wave? Why is it both? And those two make atoms. They're two opposites. Particles jump and the waves so yeah, the two. They're part of the opposites. And those two opposites make the atomic out of the all this, of course. So it's like the center of being is this. And therefore that raises a question. And we have to answer. Uh, that you can't have a God who hasn't confronted the opposite and put them and, and put them into focus, put them into focus. That of course is why Lord Lord told us, say, why did it say God, why, God there's something God can't do? Why did it say God can't lie? Can't lie. God didn't can't lie. Because a lie is one of the opposite, the opposite that lie of course self for self. So you have that problem solved in God, uh, we have to use eternal temporal forms and eternal things, we can't do more than that than that. He's from everlasting to everlasting, but there's a problem that has been solved in it. And the solved problem is, he's the self. A self must be for himself, he can't be self otherwise. He must be a self-sufficient, self-aligned, self-wise, self-wise himself. Left itself as a self for self. But mercifully, the half the universe is opposites. A thing cannot be known except as opposite. And the opposite was God bringing out into being his own son, and, and instead of becoming a self, a self for self, he becomes a self for his son, a self for others. Therefore, the heart of God is at the cost. That's the value we have to book of Alan Parker, the cost of the heart of God. So the heart of the person is a death, a life. 
a person who, who ceases to be one kind of person become another kind of person. The said there are many, uh, uh, what the Bible calls a, a fire, a consuming fire. Fire becomes life. Fire is consumed, or it becomes life. As a death takes place in the fire, then it produces life. In the the uh, helium atoms fuse, they become life. Fire and light. Fire consumes like blessed. At the same, at the same basis, that's God. So the heart of God is a person of a certain quality who ceases who cease to remain that person of a certain quality. His quality is me for me for me. And he became the eternity in the, in the, at the beginning of the sun, the fire, which was a me for me, becomes the light and sets in the love. And all this being goes into the love, the love of the sun. And so that whole being, that combined being, is other love. It's combined with the other love. But that's a crossing. And without that cause, it couldn't be conscious. You only be conscious of opposites. But it's only conscious because it, it isn't dark. Would you know it otherwise? So it's only conscious it isn't bitter. And all life, you only have conscious because it isn't lover. And then you put the two together and make something. You, uh, uh, cooks make something out of sweet bitter, make the two together and make something. And we make dark light and produce a, 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 a light situation, so on. That because it's fundamental to our, our unique, it's because uh, uh, there are certain ways it had been through history in which people will, will talk about God, a relationship to God. But people have a relationship to God. All religions have a relationship to God. They sit and die on a cross. So it's a false relationship. It's building up a God without a cross, and a human without a cross. And it's kind of building up without a, without a death in the middle, yeah, coffee. So as everything, the only two opposites should combine, and one uses the other, as I say, life, uh, life falls up, death and so on. So that's through the universe. So it's in the person of the universe. Uh, that is mainly unknown as a fact in a church of Christ. Uh, the, 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 the church of Christ, they say there's a cross, but they won't understand why there's a cross. Because I'm in God. That's why that thing, uh, what that that um, article that Pamphlet is so important to, which came out of the great mystic Jacob in Burma. And the, the course of having God. Of course, that's the problem with us. It's part of the, the, the person. The other person, only the, the kind of person he is now, the self fixed, self giving person, because of the death, being a self loving person. That's the truth. Father, son, father, son, and the speech you produce it. That's the being. That's the person. That's not known in the church of course. Even though they were a church of course, uh, even though the church of course, of course, they mean our course. They mean the course Christ died for us. They don't mean the course in which God died. That's the missing spot. That's the beginning of the uniqueness. That's for a long time. I, I, I said that. I read this a burden. And I used that scripture I told you. God can't lie. <coughs> God, something God can't be. Then you got it. So why? How can't he lie? Why doesn't he lie? I told you. Because a lie, of course, is a quality of self for self. Now, if it happens to God, he can't be self for self. He must be self for others. How? Why? How does the self for self become a self for others? As a death, yeah. A replacement. A death being one quality of self, fire, and becoming another quality of self, life. And fire produces life. Father, son. So even there we start our uniqueness.
But of course, that's so far away from us that we can put that away and say, go on. It's, it's us, it's us. <laughs> us, it's us. Because as both persons as being the of your own person, that's the great leap of, of the creation. He brought persons into being like himself in their makeup, in their makeup, spiritual body, makeup, quantity, quantity, makeup. We're made in his image. Which of course means that uh, therefore he's got something by which he can do himself. Everything he shows forth his glory. You can't see God's the tree, you see the glory of the tree. You see the glory of the light. And you see, I live in worship, I've always seen the glory of everything. Springtime's marvelous, marvelous. So you don't mistake the, 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 the outburst of the, of the, of the green, green around us as God. It's the expression of God. You don't mistake God for the leaf. But if you do mistake God for the person, because that's a different thing. That's the leaf in the creation. Everything else is God in a form. The naked person is God as a person. So you see, it's enormously, it's enormously serious. If the question of persons is to reproduce the person, it's enormously serious. It's, all, it's the very heart of being. If God can find a means of the expression so by persons. He can express the very as tall as his glory and all that science and physics and power and glory in person. And that's all the poor science can get. And can hammer out in person, in person, in person, in person. If life isn't in person, that's formed. Life's a person. And a person is expressed as a person by person, not by a person. That's the difference. But now then, because of things, oh, you know, about the objects, you've got to meet the objects in the person. As I say, light turns out because they're dark, and tree turns out because they're thick. So everything has, and as I say, the outer atom, both part of that away, and they're opposites, opposites. They have to fit them together and make, op and make their entities out of it. So everything must have its opposite. So a person has opposite. So God has us, and that's how the cross is. All right. Now the other great danger, one of the first danger is we don't recognize the, 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 the basic nature of God, which has a cross in us. Uh, a fire has become a light is God. Those are the Bible terms. A fire which can kill us is called light which blesses. Uh, in the trees of death. That's God. That's God. That's, that's why God is here. And therefore, of course, man, man as a person, must do the same, this goes through the same process. Uh, now here comes the other problem which we know. Which is it's equally our weakness, our, our, it's equally our uniqueness. Is that uh, um, there is only one person? There is only one person, and that person expresses itself in forms, forms or trees and whatnot. Or expresses a person by a person. There's only one person, only one person. A person can express itself on a lower level by atomic power or color or things, and you see his glory. He expresses himself as a person, but person is only one person. So the person can't become the person. Now that's where we move in for other units. Because God died to be one kind of person, become the other kind of person. He died to be a fire, self to self, burning. And in the beginning of the sun, because the light is so good. So we all start to fire. That's the basic thing. Everything is fire. Classical fire, not all those Fire, fire, fire. Everything is fire. Just the cause of fire. You know that. That's why there's this electrical power going about somewhere all over the place. Fire, fire. That electricity is light. 
That's a, that's no, in, in God, God's sense, that's a, that's a, that's a self, self curse. Who thought that way? Now the, uh, the way we have to learn who we are, exactly, exactly who we are, uh, um, is uh, by a delusion and a deliverance from it. By a delusion and a deliverance from it. The delusion is that you can be a person that isn't God's person. That's what Satan was. Satan is a form of God. He's a fire form of God. He made a, a person, he made a, 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 a fire person, he's a God person, in fire form. He's a God, he's a, he's a, a, a negative God, a God, a God person in fire form. So he, there's no such thing as a person except God. So God, Satan is the only person who is God's personhood in its wrong form, fire form, to so its God has died. So God has a cross in it. Satan wouldn't have a cross. That's what this world is, trying to build up the uh, religion without, without a cross, same thing. Now this is the way in which God had to teach us our basic negative to have a basic positive. We've got to know. Our basic negative is to know who we are as a negative and then who we are as a positive. Now see, Satan has to do with himself with his negative. It's all very positive, it's positive, it's positive God. Fire is a negative, life is a serpent. But God's fire is far up his life, he's all love. Satan is the same fire, not poured up, but remains fire, self, 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 self. But the lie is that the person, that the intelligent person, he makes it as if it's himself. That's his lie. As if he's a separate person, as those that say. He's just a negative for a fire for a God which God never has been. He's God had his eternal destiny. Now see, we have to learn what a self is and how it functions. Well, if Satan failed her, then God learned it. God learned it by having a son. God learned it. He was going to learn obedience to his son. He had to learn by dying to be a fire god and becoming a light god in his son. Now Satan wouldn't do that, so he lays on a fire form and thinks he's there for himself just a fire form. He doesn't say the fire form, but God is just a fire form. Just a self. Now we have to learn the same way. So we have to learn that we have the, the endeavour to potential of being eternal re-expressions of God, perfectly natural, perfectly natural re-expression of God. And one day we will operate as God. That's why God says, you silly people, if you have, even have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you do move mountain. We don't move, we, we don't move a saw as the mountain. That's only grain. A grown tree of faith will move the universe. That's what we're going to be. People move like God moves. Uh, we get, when we begin, we, we begin by a little bit of grain stuff. A little bit of faith. Uh, Jesus said there's only a grain left, but even that does a thing or two. It does a thing or two. So when you know all these people, but you see, you have to learn who we are as a person. By finding out a person is only a re-expression of the person and nothing else. But it's a re-expression of the false form of the person or the right form of the person. The false form of the person is, is, is Satan, who, who acts as though he's really only, he's only a negative form of God. That's why it's called the God of this world. And uh, in order we may learn who we are, we have to be caught up by the death illusion. So we know we accept Satan at the fall, but we think it, he, he made us something. He made us uh, operate, but that's a lie. He made us what he thinks he is, a negative operating person, isn't he? He's operating God's fire nature. Self for self nature. Self destructive nature. That's God's fire nature, it's just hell. And Satan thinking he runs that himself, but they think it's ourselves. So you don't know it's Satan as us. 
the tickets came to influence us and impregnated us, and we're just sort of ourselves, sort of doing, uh, uh, sort of uh, ourselves uh, uh, as a person, influenced by Satan. There's no such thing as a self. There's only one self in the universe. There's only one the operating the self in the universe. All other selves are expressions of the self. Like a tree, it's expression of God's life form, the earlier form there. It is itself an expression of a life form. Atomic power, they now, they now, they call it part of the mind. It's a question of the inner mind, it's got it. It's a form of the mind, a form. Everything is that. But a person can only be expressed by expression of God's person. That's amazing. The God person. And in his delusion, he picked himself, this independent, and put that into us, makes us into us independent. So we live our lives as if we're persons related to Satan. Well, now we, Jesus came and died and rose and the God's son, and so we, now we've moved here, yeah, we've moved. And we've moved, that's been a separate course, separate confession of sin and lost condition and coming to Jesus and the Holy totally, totally Sacrifice and Satan and so on. We've done that. And uh, because God had done more than that, he can be himself first, because he's really put Satan out, that we don't know. That's the body death of Christ. We don't know that. We know the blood death of Christ. One that was on the fire. We don't know the body death of Christ. So we know the blood death of Christ. And because he had done the body death, it could operate us and it could come and take us out. Because really, take us out, we didn't know it. We don't know that. It really is out in the Calvary. Not the same sin out, take us out. We don't know that. Take the sin principles out. We don't know that. But if, so because it's been done, it could operate to the beginning born again. Now we're born and we know we're new. Now that must be get Our first dawning like if something isn't us, it's being something new in us. We know that's of us. We're born of the sin. If you're born again, you know something happens that isn't you. You found out something. You thought the faith of more or less was you. He influenced you. You only thought you were comfortable with your sins and all that, which you were. And uh, you used to play, doing the same stuff at all. Uh, uh, but you thought to wear. But you recognized Satan's power, but you started yourself pretty accountable. So it's partly Satan, but partly you. Now this, you know, isn't you. You've done something. That the person doing something is, isn't me, a new nature. There's something about me, and our love, and the peace of the isn't me. That much I see. Now, because I've been rooted in this, uh, this, uh, false, this lie of, 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 of the independent self, which is really negative, negative God. It looks like being out. Satan. Negative self. Self to self. Because I've been rooted there, and Satan made me think it's me, now, I'm a, I think I'm a person and Christ. Now, I'm a bit confused. If a person has Christ, yes, I see that. A person with the Holy Spirit, I see that. It's a person with Christ. A person who has Christ. Is the person in Christ, it's still a person. Or Christ in me, it's still a person. I've still got my person with my problem. I may have so far I've Christ in me, that's wonderful. Holy Spirit in it, that, that isn't me, I know that. There is a thing in which I think it's me, that's my lie. Because it's Satan's lie. Satan is expressing this fire self, which is making the form of God, and put it to us. So the whole of the, the, the last radical desperation is the destruction of the very, uh, our, our, our basis of our selfhood. Our life is on our selfhood. That's why it's radical. Before we're saying, of course it's difficult to I'll be best I can, I'll do what I want. Satan admitted it's me. I won't get saved because I've got a me. I want to preserve my me. It may be a bit of safety in it, but I preserve my son's same condition. Now we've got beyond that, but we still think it's a me who's a lost sinner and become a same saint. I'm still preserving a me, and don't understand my, 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 my good self me is a bad, my bad self me, because all self is self for self. So good self is bad for bad self. There was seven, when I would do good, even was Now that's what caught the church up. And the whole church says, yes, I have Christ, so as I say, I'm talking about saved church. I'm not even talking about the many precious people who aren't even saved in church. Now thank God our beings are saved in church. But see, 
quite their me. I have Christ as a me, and of course now I was devoted to Satan, I'm devoted to Christ. Of course, I didn't know I was Satan. I didn't know I expect Satan, I was devoted to Satan quite all. Now I, I, I reverse, reverse my devotedness to Christ, and that's a me. And all I had is to be a better kind of me, expecting Christ. So I have a self-conscious me, not just Christ-conscious me. I'm not just a Christ conscious me and me, a me express, and the self conscious is a me and Christ. Me in Christ, Christ is a me and. It isn't a me as. A me as means it isn't me as he. A me in means a me as he. Him in me means he and me. Me as means he and me. I don't say that. That's the last part. I don't say that. So I know. That's why what John says, as he is, so are you. As he walked, he walked. John had the ass. One John had the ass. Now this is the point. And we built up community, we built our churches, our societies, and the whole way goes from this goes. Because your way is relating yourself to a society which protects Christ. So you're in the prayer meetings, in the work good, and all that, they're all part of the society expressing Christ. There's a me expressing Christ. In the old days, there's a me expressing Satan, and you got out of that one anyhow. And you come to Jesus and got saved. Now it's a me expressing Christ. All you have is that. This is a desperate death. You doubt your church, you doubt your pastor, you doubt your people. And hardly any pastor will take this because it's destroyed congregation. Congress won't take it. They'll build one, come on Sunday and pray more and do more. It's me and Christ. It's this Christ, it's me and Christ. It's Christ that has me. I've got our self preserving me as well as preserving Christ. That's, and that's my church is built on that. And church is built on that. It destroys churches. As I told Jesus, didn't just destroy law, it destroyed Judaism. So the whole system of the priests and sacrifices, that's the whole being is destroyed. No wonder they could divide it. Not just a question of two laws. So you did, you did, you did, this is being with any law. Nothing more tragic than the Holocaust. Why the Holocaust tragedy? Because nobody went crazy. Holocaust is a tragedy they burn. It's good to burn, but they didn't know they burn Jesus. They didn't, they didn't know it. Let them burn us, they burn Jesus and praise God. We have a great Holocaust. They go to gas, they didn't praise those so couldn't do it because they don't know Jesus. They went crying, dark, dark, dark. So they say, pity them, you shouldn't have to pity them. They say, need Jesus, pity them. Praise them, be burned for Jesus, isn't it? So what are they pitying for? They don't know Jesus. Because the whole Jewish race don't know Jesus. Shown up, shown up, not one. I don't know one person went crazy in the gas chamber. So we would, we'd go crazy in the gas chamber. We'd say, oh, it's great, we'd tell the God of Jesus. They don't know that. Because they hold the whole little system. And that's why they don't think Jesus they blow their system up. They seem to be a respectable Jew. Not just to see Jesus. Or a respectable Muslim. They blow them the husband. No wonder Muslims burn them. Kill them. It destroys Mohammedism. It doesn't just say it's all a believer in Mohammed. It destroys Mohammedism. Jesus is radical. It destroys your church life. That's your problem. Even if you remain in the church, you know that you're uncomfortable they are too, you know it. God bless you, the family, you may as you can, be a lover. You may as you can, but you're uncomfortable and they're uncomfortable. You're not part of them. Pray more, work more, do more, you know it, and the pastor knows it. I tell you, I'm an uncomfortable Christian, it's all, you've got the ultimate. You die to your church. Don't do that, you hurt it, because it's, 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 in the church, it's Christ's church, say it as you can, bless it as you can, bless it. But you, you have to do it with a hurt on you. I have to leave my own mission. I don't think it's far apart than most of my mission, the fall of the sun, the fall of the sun, only hardly any places. I'm still out, I'm still out now. They only lost the people. Yet, Lord, let, let me build a hole in the bee. I'm out. Because I can't take that it's not a bunch of people serving you. It's you serving, serving themselves in our form. They can't take that. They can't die out to be mission. They can't do it. I tell you, it's a desperate thing. It cuts not just your, it cuts your whole way of being. Then you may say, I mean, I love my way, and you may live more or less me. So I love them, and I know they're there. Great stuff there for Jesus. I'm not going to leave them until they finally kick me out altogether. <laughs> because I'm with them, but I'm with them with a sore heart. 
because they don't. Just the one or two, they don't know. And when I walk through, they never ask me about me. They ask me about big convention. And I talk about Japan, and Japan, or Africa, or Colombia, and love to talk. They never say, what about you, they damned. They have, a, they have a prayer center going on now. I, I say, Dr. Prayer get to bleed they don't take me. So they get all of them, they have to pray certain hours a day. And they've been lifted out our headquarters here, certain people to pray for. Or four of them are caught. They have given my name to pray for. Four of my precious people I know very well. I went with them. What a miracle. And they, but they did tell me that these dear four people prayed for me. So I wrote back, oh, I said, pray God. I thought you'll pray me out of the error, will you? But please tell me what the error is. I said, I thought you'll give me pay me out of my error. Please tell me what the error is. Not one answer. They danced. That's why they don't have it. They danced, have they? They get blown up. They danced, have they? See how serious it is, my own? And my precious work, I tell you, they prefer to any, I know, no other mission goes far from they, they're sold out of Jesus. They don't, no salary, no, no, they don't get yourself. No salary, no nothing. They're giving for Jesus. Sell their lives out in Africa for Jesus. Yet they don't know this. They don't know this. They fight it. It's still they and Jesus. They and Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, that's a death. The death that God died, they have to die. The death that Jesus died, he could have himself, as you might say, cross on Calvary. So you see, you don't find that until you are desperate about yourself, until you can't make work as a redeemed self now, as a church member, not to unsaved, until you are desperate as a, as a redeemed self. It didn't work. What have you just written? with written recently, you know that. You've been saved, you've been saved, saved you had the gift, it hasn't quite worked there. It hasn't yet quite worked. Something is, something is. You believe that if you have the abiding life, and the Christ abides in you, something missing. Because it's not the abiding Christ, it's, it's, it's abiding you is the problem. That's the problem. See you this. That you're a beautiful soul. So many that you express God, but you're only in expression. The whole universe is only in expression. And because you're only working by the negative, you have to have the wrong expression first. So no, I have certain expression. Tell his power of God and activate himself Satan. Get into the next institution where he's very safe. And you have at last to realize all that self suffers Satan as you. And uh, you live in the air, it's not a need. You want to take it in you, you take it as you. Now when you take it as you, you need to take Christ as you when you look out. And when you know this other app, app office to come in the body, it is made sin. It's made like ah, oh, we're sin is expecting, sin is sin is expecting Satan sin. And Jesus has made that, not for our sins, it's just blood. He's very made sin, so God will get his sin. God is out of the Jesus. He died as made sin, out of that sin. And God said, death, out of the spiritual body. He became those sins, that sin. So it's in the body of death, which is when it was Christ, it was Satan as us. Now it's Christ as us, who's the body of death of Jesus Christ. So we're back on the cross. And in that cross, you're involved in the bottom. You find it because you're you can give your own church to you are. So you as you can, but you'll find you, there'll be just something with you. As I say, I, I, I'm all my whole being is in my work. I spent 60 years in my work. After Africa, I live, I live in these places. Columbia is my life. After Africa, and then I live in those places. Talk to me, never ask me. I, I spent hours talking about Japan and West Africa and this. I'm totally interested. They never dare say, what about you? They know they're dead. They do something there, we should catch them in the world. So they live nicely with me and share about my what is here, I long to hear. I eat up all I can about what is Africa, it's my life. And in India and Indonesia and it's my life. They never come back about me. They can. Because I'm an outsider. Without the camp, they are the camp. So I love them with them and I'll be with them to the end. Is that why that happening? And so and to a point they do happen. But only on that level, except for just one of them. This is his level. So the whole thing goes, and Paul said, I don't know man after flesh. No man after flesh. <laughs> this is the church. So I don't even know Jesus after flesh. I'm a spirit person, and a spirit person is a person expressing the spirit deity. Your human self is expressing the spirit, 
and I did hold it there, and I got myself a spare theatre in his lecture, and it's a Jew in his life. Now, I won't say any more about that now, we're going to discuss that these, these days. That's what we talk about. That's what I think it is. We're radical. And the day hasn't yet come when the whole church will take it. One day, the earth shall be full of noise, the Lord will come to see that doesn't come to pass. There's one and one, one and one, one and one. It's glory, it's all one and one. And then one of those ones are rising, they're rising. Because my great thrill is to be like this here, though, which I shouldn't be, because if you, if you folks take an arm, <laughs> thank God you've taken on now. You've just come to that mighty uh, English uh, compass where I left about for some years. I don't know what you're for. You've got the new generation coming through your generation now. And this compass now is your generation. And uh, uh, I'm just saying it's the old background, shouting, shouting from the background to you. That's what it is. And you're the one going to live it too now. Live it too. But it's radical. And the only way you know it's radically new, you can't think radically as other people. That is very simple. It's a marvelous thing. It's just like God. But to contain God, not just a little thing to contain yourself. And by, because of this thing God, you have to contain the wrong self to start with. Take yourself. And what to do? And that's take the operating in. You've got to find that, and then find the death of death by taking it out, Christ is in, moving it as Christ as you. And you're about to walk in Christ. And you learn to be a simple person and a walking Christ. And you'll practice in daily life as well. I had a lovely, how they say, a lovely travel down from, from uh, Boston to Vegas, my back is here. They're involved in the printing ministry. It's a thrill to me, you right in it. God doing this, God doing this. That's it. In, in practical life, to see God come to your finance, God coming to the living with you. This is it. Practical person, God in a person. God's living with That's his life. But it's God, it's not better. And uh, you've got to know that. That's our answer. And, and therefore I know to you many, 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 because we are company men, I'm only reminding you what you know. But uh, that's all. When you do know it, uh, the spirit has a river in you. You start like a well in you. It becomes a river, a river flow. When you realize you can't do it, thank God we are a lot of us here, I can't help it. You've got to give it. We've got to get Our life's got to be involved in getting Christ in the earth what he is for the people. In our different kind of way. So that's it. We don't use the Tata proceeding by the headed stuff, but you ask for it, you've got it. That's all. Thank you. Thank you. We're glad that these are your, your your hours are what should be troubled. It's you. You do the speaking. You give the listening ears. You open your eyes. You do the job. You can't do this. You go on doing this. Till the whole world knows. So thank you. And for getting us together this weekend. And this interchange. And learn a little more of you from and by each other. Thank you. And bless the people who are preparing for us here. Let the officers. Bless them too. Amen. Well, uh, I didn't know or expect that I'd be lumped on you again this morning. <laughs> I came to be, uh, came to be a sideliner. <laughs> and uh, so there we are. I'm half deaf. My teeth fall out. Can't walk very well. Nothing left up here. <laughs> there we are. I hope it must be the Holy Spirit as all. Well. <laughs> uh, if I, as I had been uh, landed on you this morning, um, I'd like to uh, begin again with you and examine whether we really do know or what we say we know. And are who we say we are. Because if we are, it's, it's, a, it's a, 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 like a surge on you. you. It's a passion. God's a passion. That's poverty is this. And uh, uh, when we're in the God relationship, we're, we're, we're a passion. And you, can't, you can't stop, you can't stop an Amazon. 
Nothing at all. So see, am I? Am I? What I say I am? What is this unique reality we spoke of last night? What is it? Someone is always again to, to, uh, as we do so and discuss things this weekend and other sorts of the, uh, see exactly uh, uh, who we are and what we are. See, Paul said to the very high level saints, the Ephesians are the high level saints, he said, the eyes of the same may be enlightened as the high level people. He said, I pray the eyes of understanding may be enlightened, you may know, you may know, no, uh, no top stuff, seated with him, top stuff. Crucified with him, seated with him. So see, Paul said that to the, the top saints, not the beginners, in the Ephesians. So uh, there is that. Uh, uh, this, is, this is all we have in terms of the Spirit. In some sense, we aren't a very Bible people. I always have to have Bible with me, always. Um, the older I get, the more I need in one book, really. It's the only kind of authority I have as a, a human. It has to be interpreted superhuman by the Holy Spirit. It has to come through the human. Well, I know that I'm an African missionary. And I translated the Bible, or the New Testament, half the Old Testament, into a language called, called Bangala, which is now the language of the whole of Zaire. Well, I picked it up as only a local language. But I remember the thrill of the thing called, of course, I had people to read. They, no, none of them could read. But when they could read, oh, they, it's not what you say, it's what the book says. They got something. Oh, I see. It's not what you white men say, it's what the book says. Because it isn't only the book, it's what the Spirit says by the book. But it comes by the book, by the book. So we have to be people of the book as well as people of the Spirit. That's very important to us because we, uh, Jesus said it isn't the book in the end, it's the Spirit. He said the words I speak are their Spirit and life. Their words have become life, but their first words have become life. They don't come life out being words first. So the two go together. So if you were right, they're not book people, they're spirit people. Spirit people are book people at their basis. One of the best letters I got from the New England, you, you people who see it in the last, last, last month, and uh, was from one of our sharpest I know very well. Very sharp-minded teacher. I guess she came. And she waved things up. I was so glad she looked at me and said, I like finding you a scripture-centered scripture people. Now, I hadn't expected them to say that. I noticed how scripture-centered you were. I said, that's good stuff. So she's the kind of person who sees, who watches for that. You see, she'll just talk to her, or she'll go to her basis. So we are basic people, but the basis has become, got to become people. They sit on a basis. And, uh, uh, I know we, we don't do much direct Bible study. I know we don't in that sense. I hope and think we do interpret the Bible. I think I hope we do. That's in some ways been my drive for years to be sure I'm interpreting this. Well, it is safe cause. I say, well, it's still here. It, ha it has to be repeated by me my way. I don't want you, that, what, that's what you say, we're still here. That's our only authority. We are human, and Paul will always say the infirmity of your flesh. Flesh is good stuff, but it's human stuff. It's only, it's only bad stuff, but it's misused. It's good stuff. God is manifested in the flesh. That's pretty good, pretty good if God is manifested in it. So flesh is good stuff, misused, all right to use. But it's human, it's frail. So you are not vessel. And the infirmity of your flesh means, well, we, we've got to find out and, make, and we may make mistakes and all that stuff. Mistakes aren't sin. I, so, uh, we need to talk about that. Lots of condemnation lies there, but I don't think we've got time this morning. But, uh, um, so we, uh, there is infirmity of the flesh, uh, and, and, and this, this is to build up so we can know, we can know what we have got. Uh, on the flesh level, on the mind level. Like that, because all I see now, it says so here, is, oh, I see, this is just what you said. And then you have to come back to what you said, see what I mean? So we are Bible people. And uh, though our tendency is to share 
But hopefully, I think we do on the whole share from the Bible. And we go back to the Bible as our father of father. So I'm really asking, I'm really running over that again this morning with you, uh, on the Bible basis, uh, uh, to find out whether it's become me, spirit me, he spirit me, I spirit me. So the Bible becomes me. It's got to become, it's, it's, via, it's via the Bible. Me. I asked the question that uh, we raised last night, and which is our fundamental question, because it is the missing question. It is the missing question. And uh, we claim to have the answer. And if we have the church Christ definitely, definitely needs it, whether they know it or not. <laughs> the question is this. Uh, we go pretty far in, in Romans. Now we can go pretty far here with us here. I didn't go through Romans 1 to 5 to you, the justification of faith. <laughs> Thankfully, we all have been that way. That's a very radical way. That's been a word become life to us, of course. Jesus has become a personal savior to us. The, uh, the, it, we're righteous in his righteousness. The precious blood shed in the resurrection. Justified by the gain of our justification. We know that. And the Spirit speaks to the words, the Spirit is the one who is born us again, and we confirm it, we confirm it. It's been confirmed to us. Now we go on to what all of us here know, and Paul said all born again people are meant to know. It shows how, how, what thin soup we have got down here. Because when you get to Romans 6, it comes about the kind of people we are. How does it work out? Shall we continue in sin? How does it work out? Not sins now. Two Peter says we died to our sins in the blood. Romans 6 says we died to sin. Sin's a product of sin. Sin's a product of sin. And in Romans 6, shall we continue in, in uh, expressing, not sins now. All right. Uh, shall we continue in sin, expressing this bad stuff, this self stuff? Shall we continue? And then Paul gives an answer. It's a very profound answer, and I, 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 it's known to us here, and it keeps getting more known in the Church of Christ. And that's a big thing to say, in certain areas of the Church of Christ, which is anyhow. Uh, which is a far deeper thing, is that this, this person on earth represented me. So what he was, I was. Because he died, I died. That's big stuff. That's it the flesh. Flesh is, is spirit, of course. Yes, when he died, I died. When he rose, I rose. That's deeper. And that does mean now something more. It's meant to us a Christ relationship. More than Christ relationship, a Christ union. Now, Christ relationship, of course, is our salvation. That set, set forth on the cross. Appreciation through faith is run. God set forth. And we come to the cross as, as, as a part of the cross through the fall, of course come to the cross, we see the benefits of the cross. So it's amazing the relationship. Now this is a relationship because I'm part of him now. When he died, I died. So I'm unified with Hello, I'm unified with this dying cross. When he died as me, he died to this thing which, which, which had operated, which had been, been my bugbear, this sin stuff. Died to sin it says. And, and when he died, the sin is the spirit uh, in him as us died without as a dead body, and in the world, in the world, by a new spirit. So we've come in now to Christ, and in Christ, we see ourselves dead, in Christ, death, our death, for this sin, whatever that means, and in Christ's resurrection, we have uh, risen with Christ. So we've come to the in Christ situation, or the Christ in me situation. But we haven't come to the me situation. That's the with spot. It comes to, I'm a, a, a Christ in me. Well, that's, that's, the, that's the, the, the bad. Paul took it, the whole church knew that. The church doesn't know it today. He said, no, you're not, he wrote. He didn't say, find it out. He said, don't you, well, let's go look in the Bible, five, one, six ones. He said, don't you know that uh, when you uh, die, when you're buried, it, it, it symbolized uh, the guy that you went into 
uh, buried uh, down with Christ and rose again. Yeah, that was a mortal symbol. Don't you know that, he says, uh, because that's, that's the, the symbol of new birth, baptism. Of course, that's been uh, vitiated by this ridiculous thinking water on a bunch of kids. Uh, I hope they deliver from that one, anyhow. <laughs> um, so, that's uh, uh, been a real burial to us, we understand that, at least we're supposed to. And it's, it's, it's related us in, now into Christ. Should Christ there dying? Is Christ, I, I co dying, I died with Christ. I've risen with Christ, for Christ in me, I'm in Christ. Uh, if Christ is in me, it's taken the place of sin, dead to sin, Christ in me. I died in, I died in Christ, I'm with Christ, uh, risen with him and so on. So our Christ emphasis has become fairly plain. Our self emphasis has not come plain, and that's the weak spot. We get the Christ right, we don't get the me right. And the whole point of getting the me right is in the end, all we are is the me. God says, God's the big me. I am is I'm the big me, isn't it? It's the same as I am, and we're, we're, we're products of the big me. Uh, if he's like, we're like, and so on. So in the end, all I have is the big me. The big me and me in some relationship to, uh, with him as, 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 as the me. So unless I can find me right, I've not got any focus. And here we have it, we have, we, we seem to have it, all Christ in me, I've got Christ in me. That's wonderful, wonderful. What Satan in me, Christ, that's wonderful. It's supposed to be grace and plenty, not I, Christ lives in me, that's wonderful, not tremendous. The church is meant to know that. They're meant to know it's my new birth, but I certainly don't, as a whole. And, uh, uh, other way around, uh, that uh, he wrote, we're in, we're in the universal Christ, we're, we're bodies of the head, and we're in, we're in with the head, we're in the head, the body in the head, uh, or whichever we are, either he and me, or me and me, uh, both sides are wonderful, wonderful, a union, otherwise we've come from relationship to union, but the point is, who has been united to him? It's the me, is the problem, I, I may say, that, uh, so it says in Romans 6, reckon yourself dead to Jesus, you're alive unto God. Reckon yourself in Christ. Uh, that's this Romans 6, reckon yourself so and so. Now reckon is a hesitating word. Reckon is somewhat mental. I reckon to something. I reckon I'm in this house. Well, I may, I may know I am in it too, but I reckon I'm, I, I start by saying I reckon I'm in a house. That's a little mental. I would go further and say, I know I'm in it, maybe, but I reckon. And that's all we're offered in Romans 6. Well, reckon, the fact, reckon on the fact that his Christ in you. And reckon on the fact that you're part of the, the really ascended Christ, seated Christ, and, uh, body in head and all that. Reckon on that. All right. But I don't live by reckoning, I live by knowing. As I say, I don't, I'm not in this house recognizing this house. I'm in the house house, I know I'm in it. By coming here, I've, I've moved to reckoning this the house to be in it. Reckoning has become knowing. Reckoning has become realizing. Now Romans 8, Romans 6 doesn't say realize. It says reckon. Why? Because of the me. Why? Because suddenly, in the same letter, same chapter, he suddenly says something else which bothers us. All ye yourselves, he says, members of the other God. No, George the Christ, give up your members. Yield is just recognized they're uh, his members. The members of the God, members of the Christ. The Christ has got all this, all this, all this. Yet having just said that, in, in 6, uh, like I tricked you that we did in the, uh, the sin, like of the God, uh, and um, yield your members. I quoted that, that's 6, 11 and 13. Then he says, um, something is them. Then he says, sin shall not have the meal over you, that verse. 14, for you are not under law, but under grace. You see how little heaven is, that's hardly anybody turns pages here. We're not Bible people enough. No one's turning a page. Uh, and yet I find I've learned by rereading, rereading. We don't, see, how, see we, we're lacking something in our union life. Most of us probably have Bibles here. How the animal turned to me and said, that's what it says. We haven't got the habit. We need a little more Bible habit. 
which the Holy Spirit can turn into spirit habits. The disciples of at the Bible okay, through the spirit. That's the whole danger today. They're okay, you up the spirit of the Bible. That's why I told you I'm so glad that that sharp lady in England said I like the you people in you medical care over because I I found you uh, Bible oriented. I like that. She caught that somehow. That you gave them the sense of what you said, that's what the word of God says interpreted. That was right. So you see the mean? Uh, if, uh, you're not to blame because we haven't produced that habit. Maybe we don't. I probably most of us have got Bibles here, but we haven't got a habit of what it says. We don't work that way, I must admit, we don't work that way. Maybe, maybe we're not meant to. Yet, well, it must be that basis. If it isn't that basis, we're in trouble. And all these years, I, I've got, does the Bible say it? I, by us, does the Bible say it? And can I prove it from the Bible? Then I sit in the Bible, I prove what I know, but I prove because it says it here. And that's my final answer. Sit in what I say, it says it here. So you can't shut up to cut the, 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 the critics, really, unless you move back from what I, I say I know, but to, 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 I know it because it says it here. So the two have to go to the other. So we, we, do, we do, do that among ourselves, but to, so we're not in front line Bible people, and more in the front line street people, who's going to be sure it's on the basis of the Bible, that's all. That's all. Because it says so here. So he suddenly said to him, say, you know, reckon this, reckon that, you know, you've seen that, in Christ's death you died to sin, in Christ's life, uh, Christ's your life now, and you're joined to Christ, and reckon that your members belong to him, or you see, you all see it. Then he suddenly says, for things not have dominion over you, for you're not under the law, but under grace. Now then, that created a, a shock. Uh, it says, uh, what then? Shall we, shall we sin, because we're not under the law, but under grace? We have come back. We have come back. Me have come back. Look. He said, oh, you're dead in Christ. And you're risen in Christ. Christ in you. Christ, Christ, Christ. Well, we've got a pretty clear idea. What about the me? And suddenly, he got back to me. He says, yes, it's all right to reckon your years, your members, and all this, and all that, and all that. But he says, um, since you, it says, since you're not having any of you, you now, not Christ. Uh, 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 for you're not under the Lord, not the grace. And then he answers, oh, 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 wait a minute, what about me? Um, what shall, what then shall we sin? We. Shall we sin? Because uh, otherwise I can tell you, isn't Christ, it's me, it's precisely. If I got my me in focus, I don't get my Christ out of me in focus. And the church hasn't got the me in focus. That's the problem. That's what we said, that what we say is, wish it wasn't, wish it wasn't. But the very large he said, you need, wish it wasn't. The day will come when you need, this is the, the, the earth will full of knowledge of the Lord, the water will come to the sea. And we can't speak about it, we can all know the Lord. Jeremiah saw that I talked to years ago, it comes up in Hebrew. That day's got to come, it hasn't come yet, not by any means. Because the me is an answer. But to some extent the Christ is answered. Joyously through the ears, it comes sharpened up into who Christ is. Pretty good, pretty good. We haven't got sharpened up in itself. And it had to come back joyously, it had to come to psychology. And the atheist brought it to us. Freud brought it to us, for the atheist, Freud. He said, who is the me? This id stuff. I don't, I'm not a psychologist. Some of you may know it. All the id stuff. The, uh, who is the self? Oh, who is the self? Who is the self? What is the self? So God brought it back to us in our generation to an atheist. And you, you, it's not an atheist. You knew a few things. But uh, so it was. It brought the, the whole, who am I is the great question. Self, self, self. Self-solution. Self-liberation. Uh, self, self, self. This is the great self day. So we have to have the self answer as well as the Christ answer. And we haven't got it here. Why? Oh, wait a minute. What am I? Hello. You should have cut up on the law. I'm in danger, aren't I? He says, uh, sin shan't have to be in you because you're not under law. And he says, oh, wait a minute. If I'm not under the law, can't I dash off and do things I shouldn't do? What about me? I should dash off and do the things I think I knew. I, I, my flesh wants to do. What about me? I'm frightened. So I've become a frightened person. I haven't directly, it hasn't worked out. 
Because when you get to do what, 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 what you I say, I'm dead to Christ. What I mean? What about if I've got not, not the Lord keep me going? Who knows what to run into? I, 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 I. I haven't found the eye. And what if the eye hadn't found? The eye hadn't found. The eye was never an operator. It expressed, it expressed an operator. It never operated. It wasn't itself operating itself. That's the lie. It wasn't what the eye do. That's, that's, a, that's a lie. It's just it's operated by an operator. And you do what the operator makes you do. That's the hidden truth. Now, to some extent, we know that on the, cell, on the Christ level. Or oh, I say, not I but Christ. If it's not I but Satan first. I think you can say, not I but Satan. You can't say, not I but Christ. That's the missing point. Positive only operate by negatives. You only see light because it's dark. You wouldn't see it like there's no element of dark here. You wouldn't see it. Go out there, you wouldn't see a light. In the sun, you see it in bite, and it falls up its, its power, it's falling up the power of that light, it's falling up the darkness. That light would be nothing there if it wasn't dark. Its power is falling into any negative. You've got to have the negative, and then the negative is the means of the expression of the positive. All that is there. That's the hidden secret of life. And uh, uh, I said, I said yesterday that we saw that in God this is no, like that's why God three. It's not not just some theological theory that God three, because one is one and one. We're meant to start. We start as I. We're meant to be. We must be. Tremendous I. So, uh, so I must be self satisfied. I must be self. I must operate high. I must do high. I do it. I'm an operating self. I'm a real self. I'm a satisfied self. God is. Because satisfied in itself, by giving himself love to the Son, he didn't satisfy the in himself, that fire. I by self, be by own self, do my own self. Self for self. God never was that. But he was a self. He was a self. Yeah, I am. He never was a self for self. Because from eternity, he was a self for the Son, a self for others. And light, light fire becomes love. Like his Son, truth is in his helium, and produces the, the, the radiation, radiation is light. And we live by light, which is sun, radiation is warm. Uh, electricity is light, isn't it? E equal MC square, I just try stuff. It's, uh, it's, 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 it's all light. Yes, it's fire. Yes, it's light. Miracle. Fire has become light if we live by the, not by the fire, but by the light. It is the fire in a light form, a giving form. It is a burning form, a giving form. Self is either self-burning, consuming fire, or self-giving light. That's God, that's God. And that's the only in, only I am there is. So the I am the universe is tremendously a self that could have been a, a self-consuming hell self. Could have been. Never was. From everlasting to everlasting, Moses did the word. From everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. So we can't put time in. We've, time is a dimension which we lose when we drop the alcohol. No time, no space, that's all we everywhere, everything, those, those great days. But down here we live by time, and so we have to put time in, there's no time, we can't, we can't, we can't quite get there. So we, we don't say when, when in the beginning of the sun took place, we don't say that. We just say eternally begotten. In the eternal begotten, in the eternal fire self becomes a life self, becomes self-giving self, becomes self-loving self. Self has a death there, died to be self-giving, so self-loving. Nothing God. Uh, how, see, uh, um, uh, the, 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 Self is self-destruction. Uh, 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 self destruction. Uh, uh, self destruction. Consuming fire, self to self. That's what the world is. Destroys itself. Look loud. Atomic bomb. Destroys, 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 destroys. Self destroys. Self to self destroys. That's fire. And that's what God could have been, never was. From eternity, never was. From everlasting. But potentially could have been. Because you've got to start with the self. You could be a self forever when you've got the right, right relationship. 
that 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 one person in himself became the other kind of self. The only one did. In himself he became the other lover self, the light self, in the place of the fire self. By his own inner death. And he died as it were to be just for himself. That sun is the sun, and through the sun comes all this, this outpoured love. Now you see how ah, difficult it is to find to, to, to find ourselves. See that a that's a death it's got to be a self first. Then you've got to God died to be a self and have a self get right, become a self get. You have to be a self for self as it were, which is never operating. And to die to that, come to terms, you become a self lover. It had to be a death in deity. And the equivalent to do death. The equivalent to a death. Now then therefore when Satan came into being, he didn't take a death. That's this age of reason come today. He didn't take a death. I'm the self. Self for self. Never dies. And he really is a product of God's fire gone wrong. Yeah. Uh, nothing in this world is wrong. Everything Paul says, everything is good, but it's, 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 it's used. Nothing is unclean itself, it's how it's used. So it's how it's used. And so this self, uh, the God self, is used this way for Christ. Love. Satan used this way for Satan. So it's coming to be as this is himself. He really is a product of God's fire self, which remains a fire. And he acts as though he's himself. That's a lie. He doesn't know he's a product of God's fire. He thinks he's himself. That's, this, that's, that, that's the lying, self the lying self. And he's got that into us in the fall. Till in the fall we think we're self-made himself. That's our curse. The self object itself, we never were. There's no such thing. God hates it in the self object itself. He's a fire operating. He's a, the other, other, the other part, the part of God operating. Which God never was, the fire, the fire being. He's never was himself. There's there never been such a thing in the universe. There's only one self. So self is kidding himself. A kidding is really kids off. Now he says he's deep in us. We are selves. But uh, uh, the, uh, we're, 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 we're derived selves, we're creatures, and we're the ultimate who can expect God's self. But we expect God's self, not ourselves. Everything is expected God. So I say everything is full of glory. But they say, yes, we don't mistake God for tree, but it's his glory. So everything I see, I worship it says, I see something of glory in God and everything I see. Because I don't mistake it, because God is an it. So don't mistake the it of a tree, or the it of an atom, or the it of a chair of a god. But I, I'm glad we got covered with chairs, and I, I'm glad we got padding on them too. <laughs> so there we are. Um, see, uh, uh, so we don't mistake the it for God, but they are products. They are products. There'll be no chair but for no atoms. There'll be no atoms but for the mind of those atoms, which is God. It's all there. But the marvel, of course, is in order that God be himself again, in his universe. He has hells. We are like it, made in his image, spirit, mind, body, spirit, soul, body. Uh, made like him. So there is Satan was made like him. Made like him. But we're made like him because we're only derivatives. We're, we're the first him. There is only one to express. We just express him. And Satan expressed the other form of God, which God wasn't. He expressed the fire form of God, which God never been. He could have been, he mustn't be. The self form. So he's a form of God and a negative form which God never expects. That's the subtlety. So he fixed him to hate himself. Now then he gets into us. And he makes us to be not just a, a recipient. Not just agents. We are the thing in itself. We never wear the thing in itself. There's no such thing as self in itself. No such thing. That's the, that's the hidden uh, uh, disease. And so we start life by saying we are do our own stuff, we never did. Now see, because we think that, we can forget that I should be a robber. Oh, wait, uh, uh, um, it says, uh, um, uh, here, uh, if I'm not under law, without the grace, if I'm not under law, can't I sin? Ah, oh, I sin. I'm an independent person, can't I do it? I think I'm independent, it's a lie. What I do is always have the Satan doing the question, there's no I. That's what I do, 
on self is technically just me. First, because there's no law I go into my sin, it isn't I doing this. Take me in a Jesus exposes it. You know that. Well, just know that. That's why John 8, 44 has a key verse. John 8, 44, was that when he said to the Pharisees, about the two fathers, he said, Ye is your father, there's the lust of your father you do. Ye is your, 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 uh, your father the devil, John 8, 44, lust of your father you do. You can't do lust. You're a lusting person, because lust is beautiful. He lusts for the spirit now, he just loves the flesh. And uh, who uses the lust? Lust for the flesh, you haven't been showing your breakfast, I hope you have. That's a good lust, isn't it? <laughs> it's a bad who uses your lust. And, uh, but, uh, you see, we, uh, 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 Satan makes us use our lust, self to self, fire, self to self, self to self. Misuse our lust. But they aren't, aren't our misuses. They're Satan misuses, and we agree. See, what I have to learn is, the only capacity I've got is the capacity of, the, of being a recipient. A faith is, I, I, I set the thing and operate on it. Now, I set that chair, I operate now, the chair holds me up. All I do is accept the chair, which means I am able to sit on it. That's all. I, I reckon in my chair it's a good chair. That's not what I can do, my reason. All I, I can't make the chair, I can't hold the chair up. But I can, I can now, uh, 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 the chair can operate me by my sitting on it, it operates me. It holds you up. The food you get, you, you had the capacity of choosing your food. That's all you did. And the chair says, take it. It operates you, you don't operate it. I hope you've got, you've got quiet comments this morning. <laughs> the food operates you. All right. You're, you're, operator, you're operator, operator. You only operate the operator. You don't operate yourself. And there's a war such a thing. There's a war such a thing. Now the whole world says that we do well off, operate ourselves. And in our fallen position we thought we did, well if this case, it leads to some extent in the state. Even so we have weaved the sinner. Satan is a sinner. We, when he operates, Satan sin. Lust of our, our father, you did. Lust of your father. We operate the sin. So, of course, as a free person, I agree with Satan. And that's why I condemned with Satan in my calling condition. But uh, all I have is a, an agreement. What is my sin? Satan operates in my human desire to, to lust purposes, to sin purposes. Now, I get that much, but I still think I'm a self operator and I come again human, my Christian, and now I'll be a better Christian. I? What shall I do? What about me? If there's no law, what shall I do? Can't I go into sin? As if I can go into sin. As if I personally can go into sin, to do the thing. See, it's a something that comes right into the, into the, into the, into the uh, redeemed life. Now that's the final issue. And God has to make clear to you, it's a different issue for Christ in you. It's a different issue for you in Christ. It's a different issue from justification by faith. It's the me, the issue of the me. And somehow it has to come, because I never did run myself. All the self stuff in me, good or bad, was safe. Whatever form it may take. It, 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 uh, uh, that's what, uh, when I was a young man, I'd say, what got me is my self sentence. It wasn't open sin that got me. But so, why am I so self centered That was safe. I didn't know it then. Why am I me for me, me for me? A good me for me, fairly good, reasonably good. <laughs> it was not me, that Satan, I didn't know that until I got saved. Satan's very subtle, the, the good me for me, me for me, all me for me is Satan. Uh, and all me for you is Jesus. And there's no you except me for me, Satan, or me for you, Jesus. That's all there is. All you are is the, uh, the agency, the agency. Now, the, we've lost that. The, the church doesn't know it. That's why they do that, that church stuff. That's why the hardest people to get saved in ministry is because they dealt on a, a, a false building. Keep your church going. Few come to church. Few come away from infirmity. Few do this. Few do this. They feel on their lives. No wonder they fight. And their very property and salaries rely on it. No wonder this, that it was the church crucified Christ. The church of that day was a priest. Pharisee. The church crucified Christ, not the pagan Rome. As the church crucified us today. Because the last thing you've got is yourself, a parent in good self, a dead, good self, pure, safe and self. That's the subtlety. I'll come to church, I'll do this, that I will, is what Paul found in Romans said, when I would do good, evil. He couldn't quite, evil is present. 
He couldn't quite get it when, what it meant. It's as in Romans 7, verse 21. Now when I would do good, not do bad, he was present with me. Because when I would do good in Satan, that's uh, Satan's uh, uh, quality operating on us. And as I would do good, it's still Satan's as ever. That's the highest form of Satan, or whatever form of you like. Now that's deep in it. Then it's so deep it's captured the church. As very rare to find anybody knows this. So everybody's ruled over from the problem. It isn't the Christ problem, it's the self problem. And to get the self in focus is the final key. And so here in this chapter, as you go on, Paul gets it. Then Paul illustrates it for us. Uh, but he first says, very strongly, uh, he, as a main name to Paul through that chapter 6, he says, Get this thing, there never was a you. In, in, the, in, the, in 6, it says, uh, in, um, uh, um, uh, know you not that uh, ye who, uh, 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 to whom you yield yourself servants, the Greek slaves, that's six, 16, to whom you yield yourself, that's all we do, yield is uh, moving to who we are, I move into what's there, I move into my food, I move into this room, I always move into the room, I don't do it, just move into the room, move into the chair, move into the seat. I'm a, I'm a, uh, uh, moving company that operates me, takes me over, that's all I ever do, all I ever do. And then I operate on that level. To whom you yield yourself, slaves to obey, he says ye are, to whom you obey, whether a sin, self to self, unto death, self to self, or obedience, as well. obedience is a, uh, you see, that's a, uh, very subtle how Paul uses that word of faith. He's the only one who does that. He's almost his first verse in Romans 1 is at the obedience of faith. Almost the last verse in chapter 16, he says, What obey? Uh, agree with it. Obey isn't doing. All right, I agree to share, I'll sit in it. I've agreed to be a share. All I do is sit in the chair, that's all. I don't do anything except for the chair. The chair does for stop. You see, uh, about obedience, I agree to chair. All right, that's what I have, it's just that I did here. All right, I'm free, I'll sit with you. That's all I do. I yield myself to something which then does it stop. All life is yield to something which does it stop. All life is there, all life. And so Paul says the master, which doesn't come in the earth, the obedience to say. Now you see, because the world, the church got so long, we can meet, get and do it. Work at it, pay more, work more, resolve more. See, that comes self does it. Self doesn't do it. Self yields to the doer. And they just, then the doer uh, uh, expresses himself too much to check, expresses himself by holding me up. The fool expresses himself by feeding me. And the, 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 the thing in me, I swear, and it operates, it operates as me, it's operating in me, for me, isn't it? The obedience of faith is obey by, by, by uh, uh, recognizing the fact and then uh, uh, moving into that fact. Moving into that fact. Moving into that fact. So he says here, to me, yield yourself self. Uh, Adam and Eve did themselves and it got take, taken over by Satan, which of course has got fall of fire nature. Taken over by that self nature. Years ago, all they did, they were cut by Satan. And if Satan made them think it's the lie, because he thinks he runs himself, he makes them think he runs himself. That's the lie. And so, here he says, you always must say, you're either slave to sin, Satan, or slave to Jesus Christ, there never was a you. That's the point he says. There never was a just you. You always were operated by Satan, you operated by Satan. No middle way, but we think there is. We think there is. I don't know what our time is for, we, but uh, the, we ought to, ought to go in and have oh, the difficulty to taste the sin, because the great deal trouble lies there. You must take self-responses and take temptation to sin. And you get a great deal of false bondage there. We'll go to that later. I don't even do it now. Uh, but uh, uh, because uh, it's all I do. So I'm talking about unity. So that's the first thing he says. Then the same chapter, he's simply about by the branch. And he says in the 20th verse, um, um, uh, twenty one, um, uh, oh, for 21. What fruit had ye then in those things that are ye ashamed? Where it says, what, what 20, you are servants of sin, slaves to sin. They changed the, the example from 
from the three to three. Because of uh, fruit is a three. So what fruit had ye then? Of those things which well of you said, you were a branch. Your said that the fruit is not your fruit. The tree is getting fruit stuff through you, and you are producing it. You know, uh, like the, you know, the food, and you produce the contents of the food in your, your life. But you produce the contents of the food, isn't you? Yes, he jumped out here. It's like death house of one or the other. Um, you became slaves to God, servants to God, and you had your fruit as well. Change fruit, not change branch. No, same branch, same you. But you change tree. The, 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 the you've not changed, the tree's changed. And the tree gets holy fruit to you, and the old tree got bad fruit to you. The tree has changed, and of course Christ will take them without Christ to you. The tree has changed, you haven't changed. You don't change. Yet the whole, the whole, uh, whole gospel changed on that. Um, uh, our precious seed in my web, which is my love, of course, my mission. There's a lovely man. He's it, mighty in faith. He's done good for all his faith. He's been our leader the last few years. He's still thinking, no one, what about the responsibility? He can't quite take his nature business. What about the responsibility? I said, I took it irresponsible. I've been a driven man all my life. I was well driven by Satan and self and self. I was driven by Christ and self and self. I'm a well driven man. I can be diverted to him. I haven't talked about temptation. Temptation is diverted. It's not the point. I'm a driven man. I'm not responsible. I have to be what I am. So are you. And you were driven good and well by Satan, self to self. And thank God I guess all of us here now is well good and well driven by self cost. Now who is it? It isn't you. You're the branch bearing the fruit. And you're a slave being the owner's, the owner's stuff. In the old days of slave, being the owner's stuff. What's your stuff? And in the, in the next chapter he says of marriage. He says, marriage is lordship. Uh, he says, uh, 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 verse 7, uh, a, a husband is, is uh, uh, a, a, a wife is bound by the law of the husband. The, the law of the husband. So, so you see, you're, you're supposed to be wise, aren't very good at it. But you're, you're supposed to be obeying the law of your husband. And uh, see, uh, and then Paul says, the, the husband died. In Christ, the yeah, husband death has died. And now it goes on to you've got a new husband, Christ. You never were a widow, and never were a widow, never. There's no such thing. The day you have died to one marriage, the church is no longer adultery, you let you marry the next to the other one. You change husband, uh, husband change Satan to husband Christ. So he hammers home three illustrations here. You never were a new silly people, except as a recipient, an operator. You offered what operator to you. Offered to operator. You offered to operator. Offered to operator. Not you. Now all the remainder of Romans 7 is for it is beauty for our sake. That is the problem, that's how he went to it. And I first went to it in his zeal, not knowing this uh, independent eye is a false thing. It then tells how he suddenly got to hold of that sense commandment. He always was a moral man, so thou shalt not commit darkly, that's what he didn't bother Paul anything. He said, on that morality is good. But of course, full of self, self loving self. Uh, self for self, it's uh, the high of morality. It was, uh, they, so the good, the good morality was still say self, self for self, uh, right and wrong, it is self for self. And he got it on the Tenth Commandment. Tenth Commandment is don't even desire. Oh, thou shalt covet. Oh, oh, that's got it. I don't commit adultery. I don't lie. I don't steal. I don't murder. But no desire. Ooh, ooh. And what do I do with that? And he says that, he said, I tell him, come to go on here, full of wrong desires, full of wrong desires. She learned it there, and she said, um, uh, go on, um, uh, for, um, uh, I have not known sin, the Lord said, I shall not come. Sin, says the occasion of the commandment, wrought in me all manner of excuses, thus. Sin, say, uh, uh, the commandment came to him, he said, Lord, called, had the lie, says the lie. Oh, I won't do that. I won't do that. Of course I won't. I'm a new person. I love God now. I won't covet and lust and that. I won't do that. And then he said, eh, see, there's no such thing that I won't. There's no such thing. Uh, uh, 
it's just all you the recipient of the of the I won't have cursed if the I in you, or the I I will I won't it is you. It's cursed in you. I will do I won't do that. And Satan in it and I will do it. So Satan in Paul says, you are Mr. you you'll be pulling my stuff. I could do you. He couldn't help it. I didn't want to to have the recipient. I don't want to. To win this person, I don't want to. But I'm run by the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the person who uh, is the doer in me. And the doer in him is Satan. You laugh, you laugh. Oh, so he had this cover, so can't do uh, nothing to it. First is shifting for the doer. That's all he ever is. Uh, operates, the one operates here, that's all he ever do. At last he found So he went through, he had to go through agony, which is almost certain. They put that in the present case to go on with I, what I, I hate, what I do. Ah, oh, you see, I hate, I don't want to do it. It's because we're, it's going to cry me, because we're this person, you have to fall, it's going to, that's true. To win this person, you have to do it, you say, all right, I agree. Yes? How to perform, I haven't got. That's why he said to him number seven. He got that last, you see. He says, um, or, oh, um, or oh, somewhere there, um, the will is present with me. Oh, that's verse 18. Uh, I know in me, my humanity, my good humanity, does, in court of flesh, there's no good thing. The will is present with me, heart to form, I find not. See, it isn't in us, the heart to form is in me. The will is me. I can choose, and now I can choose the performer. I can choose the performer. So, you see, he says, I, I don't want to do these things, but the performer, he didn't, you see, he, he, he didn't understand it, and it was Satan. And Satan was still there, he didn't know Satan had put out, didn't realize Satan had put out the Calvary. Hadn't entered into that yet, because it's been too deep for him. He got the sins out, and the relationship to Christ right, he hadn't gotten so far. Right. And uh, so she didn't know that in, 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 uh, uh, that, uh, when uh, he, Christ died as, as, as he made sin, uh, sin is Satan. Without the Christ, holding it for me, because for me he's only the container. He didn't know that. He mixed up himself and sin. And so he, he said, how to perform a time not, it's not in us. At last he said, he said, oh, they're kissing me. Oh, it isn't me. It's sin operating me. Sin's not me. Sin's this, this wrong spirit that got into me. This, uh, this uh, so-called self-self spirit that operates me. It isn't me. Then because he had learned the other, it doesn't come so much, it doesn't give the details so much in Romans, it doesn't print as I say, how Christ not only bore our sins, but you, you would need to know that, the body of Christ made sin. We are, our body expresses all your other expression. You express your inner deity. And the inner deity is sin, sin self, self, self to self in me, express that called sin. Therefore when Jesus hung there as me, he expressed sin to men of sin. That's the kind of statement, of course, there is in the Bible on, on the, the Calvary. What two could is high could you ask? It's the, it's the kind of statement in the Bible. For God made him to be, made him sin, not sin. Made him me as me, as me, as Christ, as sin, free, as Satan. So Jesus Christ is Christ, such sin. That's the reason why he says, my God, why is Satan Satan? How do you say to me? He acted as if he's Satan sitting there. Inside him, as us, with his spirit. But then death comes out of his spirit. So when he died on Calvary, out went that sin. And in the tomb came the new sin. So you see, uh, Paul there got the body dead his death sin. And the church doesn't seem to know that. That's why, when you get the Lord's Supper, they, they, uh, they don't know how to pray the bread. They pray the, the, the wine. Well, Lord, we thank you, this will indicate you'll shed your blood. What's bread, broken bread? How do I... Don't know, because broken bread makes the body die, the blood the blood. You don't know that. The broken bread, the broken body, made out with the wrong spirit, in the right spirit. They don't, we don't, so most people when they pray over the Lord's Supper, don't know what to pray about the broken bread. Because they haven't got it clear. But we've got it clear. A person with a broken body, the blood of course is the life without the blood, out of the body, and as, as us, the sins. The, the body is us, and our body contains sin. So Christ has made sin. So when that body died, they outweighed that sin, as us. In the resurrection, in Christ of Spirit, as us. And uh, because Paul knew that, in Romans 7, he could see. Oh, he says, I see. At last it kisses me, it kisses me. 
to will is me, I have the right to will, I have the right to, uh, to align myself to what is, that's my one capacity. Faith can align itself to chair, can align itself to this, and the seeing this can move into this, but it's not the doer, the doer is the thing that takes you over, takes you over. I can see, and, and the sin took me over. Oh, but he said, I know now, sin, and now he's found out the way, but it's two years. That's the best of, that, that's the revelation. He said he had a revelation so great, he had any other than him be damned. And the relation is, what does Christ died for me, is Christ died as me, as a sinner, and out with the sin. And, and then in the right, he died as me as a, as a sin expression, not just sin. Out with the sin expression, Satan, into the other. Paul found out in three years of Arabia. That's why he came to the great secret, to call it Christ before. And uh, now he sees that, now Paul says, Oh, thank God, I, why am I howling about myself? Oh, wretched man, I'm not a wretched man. I got a, I mistakenly got a rich container. I didn't, uh, he, he hadn't got the catch, the container was out. He hadn't moved in by faith. The container went out in Christ's body there. He hadn't got that clear. Oh, I'm not a wretched man, because my body contains Jesus, doesn't contain fear at all. Oh, now in your mosaic, he says, no, I see. That's no, no more condemnation, let's discuss that, so ten pages so on. Now, that was Romans 8, 2. Um, for um, the law of the principle, the principle of the spirit of Christ, of life in Christ, hath, hath made me free from the principle of the day. Hath made me free is exactly like he's realizing. Oh, I know now. Now, when you know it's a passion, now I'm saying to you, you days, we are here, we know all this, about this passion. If you know you've got a passion, if you've got faith, you've got a passion in you. have a passion for Jesus. You want to get other people saved in you. You couldn't help it, didn't you? You couldn't help it. The other love grabs you. You have a passion to get other people to want you. This, this new spirit in you is a new birth. Spirit passion. God passion. Passion. Fire, fire, fire. With fire. Passion. Now then, when you know this, you've got another passion. Oh, I've got a passion. I'm Christ as me. I'm a walking Christ. It is Christ as me. It was Satan as me. All that's happening to me is Christ and me. I've got a passion. This is my liberation. Whatever happens to me, it's Christ happening to me. And I'm sick, it's, it's Christ in a sick body. And I put the right. And it is He now. It is happening to me. He. He. But I say, I said, my, uh, my friend Betty Cthulhu yesterday, she's saying in her business how she's learning that thing. It's Christ for the machine goes wrong or something. Learning. It's Christ. See, it's Christ as me. Not Christ in me, Christ for me. It's Christ as me. This is it. Now Paul said, oh, I see. It's a passion. Now, everybody says, this, this, that's the passion we have. So I'm asking you now, uh, how far have you actually squared up to this? We're in a, in a circle, and you can discuss it, as it is there, there you go on, you can discuss it among yourselves. You certainly squared up to salvation by grace, you've got that. A sinner saved by grace, you've got that. You probably squared up the Christ in you. Probably you have. You probably say to Paul, I've been crucified in Christ, I live yet not I, because you're not so high and not I. You know the Christ party. You're not quite so clear on the yet not I. You know the Christ. Yet not I, but Christ is in me. You say it. Or I should get the Christ in me. How do you get that I? And the other you never were I. You never were any except you can... You know, uh, who did you contain at all? You were afraid to say to the Christ. You were branch of the bad king, you were branch of the right king. You were wife of the wrong husband, you were wife of the right husband. Your uh, vessel that contains rock liquid, your vessel that contains mercy liquid. That's all. You never wear a liquid vessel. You never wear a lone body, or a, a, a widow or a widow or something, and that one does. That's the, the, that's the illusion. Now, I'm saying to you, I'll tell you that if you've seen it, it will real to you. That's what the Bernie Bush wants to Moses. All these men had a great cost, but self went out. She chose him as a great man, a young man. Oh, he had a dream that his very brothers were bowed out to him. Well, they hated him, they showed him in the face. That boils him up. But his second dream was his character bowed out to him. Oh, why? That guy. He's a real Joseph. His first dream was that I'd like, like a sheep and all the other sheep to bow down to me. His brethren, that worked him up enough to tell him. They're brethren. His second dream, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a son and the scars are bowed out to me. 
including my father and my mother, he died. He had to dare to say my father and my mother would bow down to my knees. Who's going to say that? Self doesn't say that. He died. That's how Moses deals with God. He wrote to the Bible himself. He is God as Moses. And God as Moses. God is Moses. Moses comes out to many books. Books is just fire burning. Books is just the agency. Fire, I'm the fire burning. I'm the God fire burning. I'm just the agency. The fire burning. The fire keeps going further. All those things about Jesus has his baptism. That's his baptism in earth. All is clear upon me. Now he says, I do nothing about myself at all. I do nothing about myself. I do what I see the Father do. I see what I see the Father do. What I do, I do what I must do. The faith goes in. He does it. Jesus found me because I do as a man. I do as a man. And then he is 28, 28, 28 years. He didn't know it. And because at baptism, he identified as a sinner. Like that's a big thing. So I said, don't put that power. That's me considered. That's what I fulfill like a that is wrong to you. And the water of baptism that I took this as a sinner and you didn't baptize. You didn't need the baptism. But as I see you, that's when you died. Because Jesus died and that made the acting baptism. And he goes, now I've got you. Not you, it's me. You're just me again. You're, 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 you're the spirit of Christ on you. You've got this, you've got it. So Jesus has gone the same way and he has to go that way. And if he goes beyond Christ, it's come you. You've got your hair to the folks. So I'm saying you to this yourself. There is a moment when it happens to you and you know. When you know, you see what happens, you know you're a God container. Ooh, you know it. And you laugh at that, you know, all this, I haven't discussed I suppose, this morning, uh, the temptation of sin, because you get mixed up with uh, no time on that. But uh, uh, we, 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 all we do is either say to do the Christ thing. There's no halfway. And our common lies is Christ doing it. And, and we're well said, and, and to do that we know it isn't we. Now we have to come back to that, come back to that, that's the this walk, come back to it, come back to it. But you know where to come now. You know where to come, that's okay. You didn't know where to come, that's okay, you didn't know where to come. That's what I say about that, that's called back up only. No good telling Jim back and have two years counseling. Tell him he's Christ, he doesn't know who he is, doesn't know. Jim is, Jerry Paul couldn't tell him. Jerry Paul is a big man, doesn't know, doesn't know. He couldn't tell back what the answer was, he said he had two years counseling, that's not the answer. Yeah, because you're a Christ, and your Christ, Christ keeps you. If you do, you could get up again, you know, a Christ keeps you. Doesn't know, doesn't know, no one tells you, no one tells you. The church doesn't know it, the church doesn't know it. We do know it. So I've got to know I know it. I've got to know myself. And myself, so it's just, I know who I am, I laugh, I'm a joke. <laughs> I'm a joke, I'm God's joke, I like being God's joke. <laughs> so, it's fun, it's fun. So this is you, that bad puppet statement, because that's you, it doesn't mean more than me. See, that's why they have to condemn that time, because they do it themselves. You see how when they challenge the guy or somebody, that kind of, that, and, and you can exactly you wouldn't answer that. Because they all are doctors. They are asking what they do themselves. See, uh, when you think it's me, so I do those things, it's me, this is me. This is me, the doctor, it's me, it's Satan doing it. Then you're free. If you do, you're a backer. You come back, what do you do with Satan? Then you know. Backer doesn't know. No prepared. You see the difference between me doing it to Satan doing or Christ doing it. So when sin comes, well, you, you may slip. I thought I hadn't thought about that. You may slip. You very rarely. Thank God, very rarely. That's the situation of sin. So if you do, if you do, get up again with Satan anyhow. And you don't have time to tell yourself. You're just a container. And then all the bad stuff is taken to get there, too, and the good stuff is still operating you. That's all. That's all. Then you, and you laugh at the thing. Then you know. Then you've got a passion. Because you found the real stuff. And then you go on to be a self that does things like God. Then you're going to work these works of faith, which we do to the and work the works of faith. And just do things as God, as God. That's the stuff. That's It hangs around the understanding of the self. Oh, what does that mean? Oh, now this comes to me, what about me? He says, what law shall I do? What that me? A lie. That means either Satan, me, or Christ, me. there's no me. There's no me. I didn't know that. What about me is a lie? If only Satan, me, or Christ, me, Christ, me, so you keep that faith at all. That's it. So I'm underlining to you what we uh, talked about yesterday. I'm asking you, wake up. It says a way up beyond Christ, you see, beyond for Christ, beyond in Christ. It's, it's you, it's, it's the you in the, in the relationship. It's not the Christ, it's the you in the relationship. 
And then he said, that's right, then it's his Christ, because, because it was safe. But there's no way it is. That's all. Thank you. Wait, the fire. Everything's fire. God's fire. Fire and his fire becomes less fire, light, light. Or continues the other one. So Baba calls it fire and light. The members are facing that. He was, he was twelve. It's really fire. Fire consumes all of something happens to it becomes light. A death, we know how to do death in this, this, uh, 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 And it releases in, 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 as energy and becomes light. Instead of burn, it's flesh. That's the paradox. What burn, flesh is, when it's, when it's all the inside it, it's as all the inside it, in the sun element. And what the God, the sun element, the feeling, the feeling, the feeling, the feeling, the feeling, the feeling, the When the feeling feels it, out comes the, 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 the new power. New power is life. And the whole life, and it is his life. What a lot of thought is that, the thick of the life. Life is electricity, life, uh, li life, God is life. This is life, every is life, every is life. Like fire, in a, in a, in a, 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 and so still in the form, so it's still getting the form. Fire is not getting it. Light is not getting it. And that's what God, God is more than is. Fire, light. And we become that. And we're all fire. We're passion, of course we're passion. Thank God we're passion. This is your passion going. Lust is a beautiful word. Burn is lust. Says what kind of lust? Oh, we've got we've put bad connotations from those words. But there they are. And the word in Greece is epithelium, strong desire. With lust to my lust in Greece, which is this piece of you and kingdom, Jesus said. The Greeks just we have to reuse the word lust. It creates this strong desire. Passion. And now our passion goes into this. Our passion goes into this. Jesus is the solution in God, in the solution. And give people the whole, the whole business of I as he. I wanted to I found I wasn't. The suffering. So the day came when the glorious light This is suffering, every form of thing, fire, suffering. I don't like it. And we always get it. All life consists in that. You see what Paul said? Uh, per, uh, perplexed. Who isn't perplexed? Who isn't perplexed? Don't run away. Accept our perplexion to create a solution. Don't run away and say, oh, well, we'll find an answer somewhere. Get the answer inside you. That's the head on. Subjectivity, get it inside you. Find the answer to that perplexity. The text for not, uh, well, it says, uh, nothing to say, oh, I see. It's a bit of a mess, but it's not a mess. You watch, God coming through that mess. Now then, I come in a harmony. And uh, the, 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 I died then. I died to be governed by negative perplexity. I said perplexity, it's God's perplexity. So God has a, I mean, I quite see how yet, but God has the answer. I'm satisfied, I'm watching for God's answer. Now I'm back in harmony, and the life of the body is coming, his life, the universe of the life coming to a body. Other people can touch the harmony. The all life is there. In every form, pressure, pressure, suffering, suffering, every life. That's just like those kids are still. But the point of getting it is, you then see it's the background of glory. We aren't fighting our suffering. That's the poor world fighting us. Mainly try to escape it by calling it mistake or something. And try to escape it. Uh, all dissolve it come up. And uh, put up our terrific arm on the cause of ridiculous stuff. Get the, get the nation to get to do it. All this miserable stuff. Fear, fear. So we have to do it out of stuff. Make our arm and all this sort of stuff. We, uh, existentialism, uh, 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 suffer, solve it inside you. you know Find the truth inside you. And there's a truth inside you, of course, it's God's, 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 God's stuff, it's God's devil. That's something Jesus said, it's God's devil. The devil wants to come uh, uh, I told you, the Christmas world coming has nothing in me. It's subjectivity. Out of the objectively, torn it, torn the bit. In with it, he didn't get it. And your inner person, this is only party. It's things that are seen temple. Like the six. Inside is me. And she is with the excitation. It's taken as nothing in me. They took me two hours to After that, the top of the table. 
day without the God. It's for three hours it's all well. I, I don't like it. Huh? I, I, can't, I don't like it. I don't, it's, it's impossible. I don't want to do it. That's real. Of course we see the Satan, to see Satan on the tempting level is good practice. Satan's only a use when he gets us into sin, but that's only occasion. So, tempting level is good, is good practice. And occasionally it goes into sin, then it's stubborn, but that's only rare. And so Jesus has Satan on tempting level. Not my will, he tempts the, this is Satan saying, come on, come on, you shouldn't do that. Come on, come on, come on. No, I should do it, because God said I should do it. He was on inside him, in bloody sweat. In his fire. They couldn't meet with that prayer. They went to sleep. Three times over, alone. Alone in God. Like inside him, inside him. He came out and some of the bloodiest kind of sweat from inside him. In inside him. In God. And then when they did take, the, when, the, when the soldiers did come, you know, and the Peter cut, cut the ear off the heart, he said, and all that, and the Jesus hid, he said, suffer that, the cup which my father has given me to God. The devil was God stop. So I dissolved it, when the, the, the enemy becomes your friend, becomes your means in which God does something. The cup my senseless God cup. God cup. That's in a that's, that's here, there, that's the perplexity, not in fair. Persecution is not to say, cast down, but not to thorn. But you are first cast down. And you are first oppressed. You are first persecuted. And that's the problem. So there is a story that the problem. Now we all have a, you see, until I recognize that, I'm a threat, it can't be critical. We all, everybody suffers. The poor world suffers, but don't want to do with it. We have to be with people who do know what to do with it. That's our point. The world, we all suffer, but that's what I do with you. We do know what to do Inside you only. You do not know outside. You have to reverse the outside into the inside, the inside, the inside, the outside, 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 the that I is that Satan gets at me. My real eye is quiet. Oh, 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 oh. Satan gets at me. Stop. Satan gets at me. Don't like, don't like. Not stop that way. Gets me. Well, as well as you get here, pull. You see, this is the... And so we always get pulled at me. And the whole life is how to resolve the pull. But I say, no, I am pulled, but I forget I'm who I am. That's all. I'm telling you boys out there, say, the other way I forget what I need. I've been well talked about it, in case it's not about that, very good. Uh, yeah, you're poor, you must be poor, and that poor is taken on you, that's not, that's, that's good health, that's good practice, that's all. Uh, you see, they take, they take days, they, they, they take long time. It's a learner, they take, it took even Jesus three hours, that's Jesus. So that's okay, I'm being poor. Take the same, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you hear it, you hear it. You see it in situations, imaginations, and so on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's real. They wait a minute, I go inside myself. I go inside myself. I know it, but I start to I inside myself, I you're not that, you or me. Hi, you're not that, stop, you me. Now inside you move, you move back to who you are. You always were, just hook up. So it's a place to get who you are, and you must do so to be real, and the suffering is there. And the suffering begins to be glory, but it's still suffering, but God's got an answer, you watch. You watch, God's got, God's got, God's playing tricks. If you turn this thing into a good thing, you turn Calvary into resurrection. No resurrection, no Calvary. I mean, no Calvary, no resurrection, I mean, yeah. That couldn't be what we are forever, but for Calvary, and how to walk. He prayed to be my father. He prayed to see me die. Interesting. He, he said he prayed, uh, um, he prayed uh, 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 that he shouldn't be, die. He did die. But the guy is just, uh, the upper die because he is in the So that's it. So you see, the whole life is this. It's under every kind of form. Big forms, little forms, outer forms, inner forms. All life is suffering. Because this is the only way of perfecting. 
，如果是开心的时候，格拉斯热尿，伊可发的伊老开心，热尿每天都在开心，热尿他开心，开心，是，这个这呃呃呃这好，这这热热热热热开心。It's the only way. Everything that God has directed it, we can't hold it through. So, so, where does God can't lie? It means there came a time when God turned down the instruction cell. Now, he, that's the best thing to say, because it, that, that's using simple terms to turn the track. We can't have it together. But somewhere in the eternity, there was that amount of something, and God has put them in me for me, just as coming to be underneath you. And the fire was in the light. There's a death there. There's a death in there. And that's the glory, it's just a brother again, I said, we talked about that this morning, and then uh, uh, our, our Alan Parker, the lawyer, picked it up and produced that little book, uh, uh, Death in the Heart, Across in the Heart of God. 